breezy. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah. Neha. Okay, one more time. Neha. And you remember we talked last week about this word for bug eye when somebody's eyes is, is, is stick out over the lowly. Over the lowly, uh-huh. One more time. Over the lowly. And one more time when you aren't laughing. Over the lowly. I can just, I can just see some. You know, I know. <laughs> Ogmilotli. Mm-hmm. One more time. And then um, another form of that word that some people use is ogmilonli. Ogmilonli. Yeah. Um, I don't understand the use of the other two, but ogmilonli, I don't. You're not sure what that word is. Mm-hmm. Well, you said it twice, and that's good enough. <laughs> Okshita. Okay, again. Okshita. What's the word for somebody laughing? Oh, lolly. One more time. Oh, lolly. And how would you say you are laughing? Eshu lolly. One more time. Eshu lolly. And I know we talked last week about crushing a bug or something with your foot. The word she uses is pichinski. Well, I don't know that word. <laughs> but you feel, I think I have heard it, but I don't. Would you be willing to say it for us again? Pichufi. Well, good. One more time. Perfect. Frankie, you are a more willing person than some people. Some people refuse to say a word. They're not absolutely. <laughs> um, what's the word for sweeping? Peely. One more time. Peely. P Lily. One more time. P Lily. And how about I'm sweeping for her? Hmm. M P Lily. M P Lily. Um, I'm sweeping for her. M P for me. Mm-hmm. M P Lily. Okay, thank you. Um, and how do you tell somebody look? Look. Pisa. And how would you say about somebody who's looking at himself? He's looking at himself. Ili Pisa. Mm, Ili Pisa. Would you say that again? Ili Pisa. And how would you say he's looking at you? Chipisa. One more time. Chipisa. Chipisli. Okay, one more time. Chipisli. And what's the word for sliding? Sliding? Yeah. Shaladli. Okay, would you say that again? Shaladli. Um, how would you tell somebody you're sliding? Shalali, huh? There would be two words right there, though. Shalali would be sort of a he slid, okay. and then the other word is shalali would be his sliding. Oh, there's also a word shalali. Mm-hmm. Would you say that word? Shalali. Well, none of these is the word that Catherine uses, but they're all interesting words. <laughs> <laughs> Shalali. Okay. And um, if you've got something that's shaped kind of like an upside down ice cream cone, there's a word, shikalili. Mm-hmm. Shikalili. One more time. Shikalili. And what's the word for um, she's combing it, like combing her hair? Shikli. Shitly. And when you've got a tank um, with water in it and the water is drying up, going down, um, you could say shitkla. 
Mm-hmm. She pop. It's going dry. She pop. She pop. Shiny? Hmm. Yeah. Shook my lolly? Yeah. Shook my lolly. Okay. And Frankie, I just remembered. Um, I think last week we talked about a word that I picked up this list that I've been asking you. You use a word for pressing down on something, a beat to pitchy. A beat. A beat to pitchy. I can't say it now. A beat to pitchy. A beat to pitchy. A B tipichi. Um if the dog is whining, trying to get in or out, there's the word sinksia. Mm-hmm. Sinksia. Sinksia. Okay. And how would you say I'm all worn out? I'm all worn out. Sataha. Mm-hmm. Sataha. Sataha. And the word for worn out there is taha? Mm hmm. Can you say that? Taha. And one more time? Taha. Um, and if uh, Matt had a drink in his hand and you put it on your table, the word for setting it down like that is talali. Talali. Mm-hmm. Can you say that again? Talali. And if you say to him, um, you set it down, that would be ish talali. Ish talali. Ishtalali. And if the drink is sitting there on the table, if somebody has set it down there on it, um, you can say ontalali. Mm-hmm. Ontalali. One more time? Ontalali. Okay. And if he goes off and he leaves that thing sitting there, you could say talali. Talali. Mm-hmm. Talali. Mm-hmm. Ishtalali. One more time. Ishtalali. Um, and the word for pulling something out by the roots, like a hair or a tooth. Teethy. Can you say that again? Teethy. Okay. And how do you say the door opens? It opens. The door opens? Tiwa. Tiwa. Um, he opens it. He opens it. Tiwi. Tiwi. Okay, one more time. Tiwi. Perfect. And I'm working. I'm working. Tok Salili. One more time. Tok Mm-hmm. Could you just say that word Waya? Waya, huh? It's Waya, huh? Mm-hmm. Say it one more time. Okay. And then we talked last week about a word for something being shaped like a lampshade, sort of a thing like this, and then it's cut off at the top. Um, the word she uses for that is Wikula. Hmm, Wikula. That's a word I don't know either. Okay. So you have to take Catherine's well, word for it. <laughs> um, another word she uses, which I'll ask you, I haven't asked you about this one before. Um, she uses, instead of saying hilla, sometimes she'll say hilla. Do you know that word? Hmm. Pilla? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard anybody say Mm-mm. I don't know. She she knows a lot of it more than I do. She knows a lot, and she's got a lot of words that she says that nobody ever hears. I know. She. I think last week we talked about the word for shaking a rug. Do you know what it is? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm
Will Oley. Will Oley. How would you say you're ashamed of? Ish Will Oley. One more time. Ish Will Oley. One more time. Ish Will He didn't shake it. Egg will up low. Okay. One more time. Egg will up low. And talk about a dog shaking himself. Um, I think the word is uh, Eli will only. Mm hmm. Eli will only. One more time. Eli will only. Okay. Um, and uh, then if uh, there's a, an old shed or something out there and somebody knocks it down, um, the word for that I think is. Yesibly. One more time? Yesibly. Okay. How would you say he believes it? He believes it. Yimmy. One more time? Yimmy. And you believe it? Say yimmy. But if you're talking to the person who wants to say that you believe it? Chi yimmy. One more time? Chi yimmy. Okay. 